I've struggled with lake weeds for years, but I've also found some really effective methods and tools for dealing with them. In this video, I'm gonna be using a weed razor and a weed rake to clean up an area behind our boat to help us get our boat in and out of the dock a little bit easier. Now, both of these products are linked in the video description. So don't worry about having to pause the video or take notes or anything like that. Just watch it all the way through. And if you need more information about the products used in the video, the links will be right there for you after the video is over. So the weed razor is a metal Y frame tool and it has two razor blades along each side of the Y. Now this might seem obvious but they're sharp. Don't freaking touch them. Now I know common lake attire is swim trunks and sandals but you might want to think about closed toe shoes and putting gloves on wouldn't be the worst idea either. Gotta keep those little piggies protected. Now a long handle keeps you decently far away from the business end of this tool and the rope allows you to anchor it so you don't end up losing your tool in the bottom of the lake. The razor is a throwing device meaning it works by tossing it out into the lake and pulling it back in. The razors on the two edges cut the weeds as you pull it back through the water. It's simple yet incredibly effective. I'm mainly going after lily pads today and those can be really difficult to cut but they stand no chance against the weed razor. Now watching me work this thing you can see how easy it is to get multiple throws and retrievals in a very short amount of time. You'll actually be amazed at how quickly this tool works at removing large amounts of weeds. Now you can use the weed razor off of a dock or throw it from a boat like I'm doing in the video or even just off the shore. You're only limited by how far you can throw the thing. It's got some weight to it and I'm fairly weak for a man, but I still have no problem chucking it out there a good distance. After doing work with the weed razor, I've got a bunch of floating weeds that are now cut off that are just sort of chilling in the water. Now I like to just let that crap float over to the neighbor's dock and let them deal with it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Joking aside, this is where the weed rake comes into play. The weed rake is just that, a rake. And rakes are good at collecting things. It has a long segmented handle so you can kind of make it as long as you need it to be. Now I removed a few sections of the handle to make it shorter because I'm actually going to be using mine as a throwing device much like the weed rakes. Now if you look closely you'll see that I modified mine a little bit by adding some pool noodles to the frame of the tool to make it float. I attached the noodles with zip ties and now I can pull it across the surface of the water and have the tines facing down and collect the floating weed trimmings that I created from the weed razor. Now this tool like the razor there can also be thrown from the dock, the boat, or even the shore. With both of these products, there's no reason to get in the water and get wet. Now the anchoring for this product is key too. Again, you wanna slip your rope around something stationary like a dock pole or a boat cleat, or if you're working from the shore, just maybe a big rock or something. You wanna make sure that as you're throwing the tool into the water, that you have a way to grab that rope and pull it back in. That's a very key step and you don't wanna skimp on that. Now lily pads, in addition to being difficult to cut with the razor, are also kinda of hard to collect with the rake. But you can see with a few passes, I've managed to scrape up enough lily pads and enough weed trimmings to actually fill up my Gorilla Cart. Now I'm using the Gorilla Cart because it's got a plastic tub so I don't have to worry about it rusting from getting wet, like a wheelbarrow or something like that. I've got a separate video about just the Gorilla Cart. If you're thinking about getting a garden cart, I'd highly recommend it. You can click into the video, I'll link it here, and you know how I love my Minnesota-based companies and products. With both the razor and the rake, I've spent less than an hour removing weeds, and look at my results. Compared to what it was before I started, it's looking so much better. This really is a great combination of products that deliver fast, reliable results time after time. I've been using these products together in tandem for a couple of years, and I'm always amazed at how fast they work and how many weeds I can remove in such a relatively short amount of time. Now, if you're interested in getting rid of the mucky bottom of the lake and maintaining a weed-free lake recreation area around your dock, check out my three-step lake weed removal video linked right here. Cutting the weeds out like I did in this video is really just the first step. I have two more products to show you that helped me and my family achieve and maintain a weed-free sandy bottom dock area that people actually want to swim in. You'll love the before and after shots in that video. Truly incredible. It's a huge difference. I hope you liked this video. If you did, think about subscribing to the channel. Remember, the products I used in this video are linked in the video description if you need more information. Thanks for watching. Bye.